many times is in her, here. Sorry. <laughs> no, yeah. It's okay. Go ahead. How many times is Veronica gonna decide to retrust her father? I think that's over. Yeah. For good I this time. I feel like it's. I'm. I'm not gonna say that because <laughs> you never there's. Know in you can't predict. Yeah. Anything in Riverdale. Um, but I really think it's done this time. Um, I think Veronica stopped trusting her father a long time ago. Maybe the last time we saw her trust him was. I just remember that one scene with Pop where she was like getting a little vulnerable and Pop could see it that she was starting to trust him again and didn't want her to. I can't remember a time where she broke a little bit after that. Um, but I, I hope I hope she stays strong this season. Oh, well he's scheming Hiram's in bad news. And he's yeah, and he's scheming in prison and he's making her life hell. Um, from prison because he's Hiram Lodge. <laughs> With Hiram being in prison, though, wouldn't that mean that um, your mom and you would actually be the ones who have control of the prison? Well, no, because my mom's in prison too. So then, would you call the prison would call to you and whatever guardian you had? That I would. A guardian, or are they just like, Smithers. You Smithers is my legal guardian. Okay. <laughs> Although he's nowhere to be found, like he's definitely not at the lodge apartment, so I don't know where he is. But legally, he's my guardian. I don't think Veronica needs a guardian, honestly. She's pretty independent. She runs a business. She pays her bills. <laughs> um, I think she's set. She can feed herself. Um, but yeah, there was there was another part to your question that I was going to elaborate on. Does she have like grandparents or anything like that that we might ever see extended family? There is extended family that, that I know will appear in the season, which I'm really excited for, and I wish I could tell you more. Um, but there's there's a yeah. A family member Veronica didn't know existed that will appear at some point. Is that going to be helpful for her? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, it's going to be hell. <laughs> it's going to be hell. Yeah. Um, will there be any awkwardness with you and Reggie since you kind of rejected his advances? On totally. To yes, um, there will be. I, I know there will be, maybe not awkwardness, but. There's definitely, you know, some hurt feelings on Reggie's end, um, and Veronica will have to. Uh, they, they definitely have a confrontation in episode two about it, um, but you know, all of that happened, and then Archie's father passes away. So I think that puts Reggie in a situation where you know he's not gonna. He's not gonna hold anything against Archie. Archie's going through a lot, you know, so makes it hard to express how he really feels. You and Cheryl get the best lines. Is there ever a line that Cheryl got that you just really wanted it? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I love it when Cheryl says, cuckoo bananas. <laughs> 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 like, I love when it, like, I love how whenever she's describing something crazy, she's like, that's cuckoo bananas. <laughs> um, but they're, they wouldn't fit in Veronica's character. So Veronica has her own witty way of talking, which is entirely her own. The show escalated a lot over the course of three seasons as far as drama mm -hmm. and what was happening in the story. Did that change anything about how you approached playing the character? Like, were you trying harder to keep her grounded? Or was, like, how did that affect you as an actor playing the character? I don't know. I'm pretty unfazed by all the craziness that happens. I think I, I stay true to who she is and how she behaves in any given moment. Um... <laughs> And I think a lot of the craziness that happens in Riverdale happens mostly in the Gargoyle King mystery world. I think that was where all the like chaos was. Um, so I don't think that had too much of an effect on Veronica. So there's always this over, you know, arching, no pun intended, um, theme, you know, of the comics and the love triangle, which is really at the comics core. Mm -hmm. Do you think this new season we're going to kind of see that being brought back a little bit, like the season core, one, like, you know, Archie, 100%. Veronica, Betty. This season, like, that's kind of, I think, our mission this season and what we've been begging Roberto for so long is just to bring it back to that wholesome season one vibe mm -hmm. where you see all of the characters interacting and you see, the, like, a little bit more of the relationship dynamics um, and just seeing them being teenagers in high school mm -hmm. with still all the same twists and turns and mysteries that, that make the show what it is. But, but I just feel like there should be a bit more of an emphasis on um, on the fun things about high school or, or you know, of staying true to the fact that it's senior year yeah. and what that means. Because if we go on to do season five, then, you know, that'll be the end of high school, right? So how do we 
we really got to honor and like relish in this last year of high school. Mm -hmm. With Josie leaving, is there anybody who's going to take Josie's place? Like, because I know she was your singer at your bar, mm -hmm. your best, one of your best friends, and now she's gone. Yeah, I feel like Veronica kind of takes that role in a sense. I have a pretty fun musical number in season two. I mean, in episode two, thank you. Um, in episode two, I, ha I perform at Le Bon Nuit, and it's a really fun song that everyone knows and loves. And it's very, um, it's kind of like a jazzy song, and it's like sexy, and um, Cheryl and Tony will be a part of it too. So I'm really excited for that. I think we'll get those musical moments, I think now, I'm just gonna say, I think, through Veronica. Because um, I was kind of already doing it last season anyway, so I think now that might be more of a full-time thing. What's your main focus or ambition for this season? Is it school or is it an extracurricular, a relationship, or business? I don't know too much about what her main focus is. I know that in season two, we're setting up the college application storyline with her um, and how Hiram's getting in the way of that. And there's a new principal at Riverdale High as well who's kind of causing trouble for everybody because he's very strict and is all about reforming the school. Um, so I think that's all I can really say as of right now. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.